Okay. So we're in this position. I want to make sure I'm still staying tight, chest to back. Tell me your secret. And I have uh, my seatbelt. All right. I'm going to switch off to a wrist ride. So I'm going from seatbelt, wrist ride, shoving it down. I'm going to look to sneak this choke in. If I can get it under the chin, I will go for the rear naked choke here. But a lot of times I get it under and I have to like work to like, like she's fighting it like as I'm getting it under, like even if I get it under her chin, I'm looking to go here, she's hand fighting still. So what I'm gonna do, I pass it off, I get under the chin, but I feel like this is gonna be too much of an opening to where she's gonna stop it. So I'm under the chin, I cup the shoulder, and just like, like I'm rock climbing, just grab that bone right there. So I'm closing this elbow and I'm starting to draw it up. That way it's tight. And I'm just gonna work my knees back. But I'm staying like ear to head. Because if I lay her down like this, I have a good position, I don't have the tap. Is it not about my five chin defense? No, never. <laughs> so, if she's tucking her chin here, I can act like I have like my house key and I put it right across the jawline and I wiggle, 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 wiggle. wiggle. Once I get that under, grab the shoulder, draw the elbow back, stay tight, work my knees back, and lay her down. So here, work that in. Once I get it under the chin, Grabbing the shoulder, drawing the elbow back. From here, you can still get the tap, but it's not quite as tight. Like I can feel like there's there's space. So when I draw that elbow back, now she can't wiggle that back in. And I work myself back. Yeah, one more time. Right here. You guys can fight this if you want, but like you start, you're gonna start to suck. So. <laughs> Once I get it under the chin, and I don't want to be like too short. I want to be to where I can grab that shoulder and then draw that elbow back. And I'm staying nice and tight this whole time. I keep a hold of the wrist, but it's not 100% necessary. It kind of helps if she tries to spin out, because if I'm laying her back, she can go to spin like this way, all the way to her knees. And then I'll have to go to something else, like a bulldog choke or something like that. So this wrist ride will like slow her down from being able to rotate either way. So on her chin, drop back, and down. This one too, if she does tuck her chin, and I just do the same thing, it's, it's more of a face crank. And, and it sucks. <laughs> That's pretty powerful when you start reclining them. So. Yeah, it's super powerful. Especially when we're training, get ready for the quick tap. You'd be ready for it to tap. Is that more, uh, that's more like, like flat against the throat as opposed to like, uh, if yeah, you're doing like a triangle and you're like yeah, cutting the like blood it, it, It's kind of bow, but it does hit the trachea a little bit more than just a standard like, uh, even like a mataleo or a choke. Because that'll hit the carotids. Yeah. This one is kind of just forcing everything. <laughs> I think initially it's more of a pain tap, but it, it is a choke all the same. Questions? I don't tap to pain. Don't tap to pain. <laughs> <laughs> Pain's weakness is leaving the body. <laughs> all right, on three. One, two, three. 